Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, ask and ye shall receive. The New York Pro Recap is finally here. Let's jump right into it, starting with the Men's Open and Nick Walker staking his claim as the next big thing in bodybuilding. Even though we've been talking about this for the last few months, the fact is that it actually happened, yet it still hasn't sunk in. In the 212 division, Nathan Epler followed up last week's second place at Indy with a huge win here, so congratulations to him. And just as we predicted, Danny Union dominated from wire to wire in classic physique to earn his first win of the year. In men's physique, Aaron Banks continued to show why he's one of the most improved athletes in the division by locking up the victory here. Moving on to the women's side of things, we're starting with Leah Denny, who looked amazing on her way to locking up the win in women's bodybuilding. In figure, our pre-show favorite Maria Diaz made us look good by delivering a win with one of her all-time best performances. Romina Basualdo earned the second New York Pro title of her career in bikini by being amazing and lights out from the start. In women's physique winner, Alyssa Kiesling looked out of this world in her pro debut. Do not forget that name. We'll be hearing from her again, I guarantee it, sometime soon. And we're wrapping up our coverage here with wellness and the monster performance by Yurishna Ayala as she secured her spot as one of the top contenders for the Olympia later this year. Believe it or not, there actually was another show on the schedule last weekend. Dre Dillard and her crew brought a huge group of men's physique athletes down there to her neck of the woods in Texas for this year's City Limits Pro. And at the end of the night, it was Houston native Micah Thomas Jr. who ended up as the last man standing, as he earned his first well-deserved win of his pro career. Javier Mullings slid comfortably into second in his season debut, and Ashley Patillo put together his best look of the year so far to round out the top three. In the Masters division, the ageless wonder Michael Ferguson did it again, pulling off a huge win with another big-time effort. Antoine Williams came in and did enough to earn himself a solid second-place finish and Tennessee native Napoleon Amos got his season off to a nice start with his third place finish. If you're under 30, you won't get this reference. But back in the day, there used to be these commercials on TV about friends not letting friends drive drunk, which is still great advice, just for the record. But since no one really watches regular TV anymore, maybe they can start doing something similar before all the Hunter Labrata YouTube videos because friends definitely shouldn't let their friends train with Hunter Labrada. <laughs> it's bad for their health. Even though he's still 10 weeks out from Chicago, he already looks like he could be ready to go sooner if he needed to, which could be a huge advantage if he needs to make adjustments at some point down the line. And when you think about how deep the open lineup looks already, having the ability to make those adjustments becomes even more important as he gets closer to the date. And I wanted to end today's show by sending a very big get well soon shout out to a friend of the show, Antoine Valiant, who found himself on the wrong end of a biceps tear again a few days ago. I don't know if this is unfortunate or fortunate, but some of you probably remember that Antoine actually tore his other biceps about a year or two ago. And thankfully he was able to recover well enough that he actually ended up getting himself to the Olympia last year. So at least he isn't in completely foreign territory. At the moment, I don't think we have a full timetable on what his recovery process will look like. But the guy's a warrior, and I'm sure he'll be fine in the long run. It just sucks that it has to happen now. And I know that I speak for a lot of people when I say I hope we see you back soon, champ. 
Bodybuilding is always a little bit more fun when we have you in the mix. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.